let's go let's start and i'm going to start actually from a word document uh, this document of course has much more features but these are just some single items some formatting done so uh, that's all clear you can find that in the uh, academy on our website uh, but we're going to focus on this part as this is really the cpq data cool how do we start we start in a word document of course and i just have here with me an empty word document so nothing is in there it's completely blank and we're going to start from scratch and i'm going to show you step by step how we add information on these cars okay first step is we're going to add a table a table in pdf butter is the structure that we are going to use so when you add a table you see this empty space here in the beginning this is the first thing i always remove so we go to uh, table settings options and i'm just going to remove all of the padding in my table and of course in my result i'm always going to switch back to this one you don't see a table so actually the table is just a, a placeholder for our structure and i'm going to say that i do not want any edges in my table okay uh, what i'm do are going to do is going to uh, no i'm going to do that at the end okay what i'm now going to do is just take these kind of things so say model then from the model i go and i add the items um, this is going to take a lot of time so i have one uh, prepared and i'm just going to copy paste the information from that one always uh, to this one so uh, and you can download actually this uh, uh, complete document from our uh, academy so that you can use it as a starter point for your development okay so instead of uh, typing it in front of you i'm just going to copy paste it here so this is the top of our uh, car that we want to uh, actually repeat so this is actually this part uh, this this text and we want to repeat that for every car in our uh, in our quote lines so there were actually two cars so this is the same stuff okay cool we also want to say as you can see here that we want to keep all of this information together on one page so very important let's go to some uh, words uh, options we are going to say that we never want to split this line huh, when it uh, goes over a page so means that uh, word will automatically and our uh, processors as well will automatically say okay this is not fitting entirely on one page uh, or so uh, on the same page as before so i'm just going to move everything to the next page that's how we uh, how we do it okay cool so what we have now is this top part and you know what i'm just going to take you through it step by step and i want to fill up this top part so we can uh, close this one for now I'm going to create a new doc config. That's what we always do. It's going to be a main word document, of course. Uh, how are we going to call it? We're going to call it uh, Academy CPQ Training One. Okay, let's give it a name. And of course, we probably want to give it also the quote uh, number, for instance quote number and this one is for the title so i'm just going to put it title attachments i don't want to save it i just want to generate it and look at it i don't want to save it so i'm just going to take base 64 here okay let's go yeah that's our quote already and of course we cannot start before we are selecting data so let's go to uh let's create a data source um sorry let's create a data source new data source of the type sockle we're going to call it academy um, main quote lines training one it's going to be a list of objects and i'm just going to type I'm just going to click OK. So we haven't write, written any Sockle because we're going to use our Sockle Builder uh, much easier. So 
what we want to do actually is get information from quote lines. So we're going to filter here on the quote lines. So uh, it might take a second or two because you can see there are loads of objects here. So uh, feed quote line, this is the quote line. Just going to check the API name. Yeah, it comes from the CPQ package. So this is the item I want. Cool. What kind of information do I want from the quote line? Of course, I want the quote ID. So I'm just going to uh, filter on the quotes. Uh, you can get information from the quote as well if you follow this relationship, but I just want the ID for now to filter to know that it's uh, I'm only going to select lines that are actually linked to this one. Um, I'm going to take the... Uh, the ID, the record ID, I think it's called. Yeah, the record ID. So I'm going to take the record ID. I'm going to take the uh, um, the price. Um, which price I'm going to take? It's just an example. So uh, let's take the uh, um, the net unit price. Okay, uh, is there no total price? Total, net total. Let's take this one. Okay, cool. So uh, this one as well. So we have now the uh, um, the model. Uh, we're going to select a field called required by. So we, we will see that these required by fields in CPQ actually indicate uh, if there is a parent line item, a quote line item, so we are the top level, so we will not have any parent quote line items. That's clear. So we're going to select this one because we want to actually filter on this one that there is no required by filled. And that's how we know we're going to take the top level uh, line items linked to that quote. Cool. So um, what's next? What else do we need? Um, we're going to need some data from the product. So I'm going to follow this product relationship and I will take the name of the product, product name, and I'm going to take the uh, one liner. Okay, can I take the English one and I'm going to take the description. Okay, same thing here. I'm going to take the English one. Okay. So everybody that knows PDF Butter knows now I need to add an, uh, a filter on the record ID. So to know that we will only select the uh, quote lines linked to the quote we're working on, add this one already. But also I want actually that the required by field is empty. So what I've done now is I've written my query and I said, give me only information that links to my current quotes and give me only the top uh, the, the main line items that are required by is uh, empty save my query let me show you what i mean so i want to if i see my my quote line items you can see that this erando so this is my car that's the top level one and when i select this one you see that the required by field is empty when I go back and I select, for instance, this pack, you will see that the required by, oh, sorry, I, this is a product. Let's go to look at the quote line. You will see that this required by is filled and the parent is the car, of course, yeah, because it was the pack. So everything looks great. We can uh, now go back to our quote. So we have selected our data. Um, we have a doc config. So what's next? Let's go to this doc config, open up PDF Butler. Okay, um, we need to upload our document. So it's gonna save it. Go to um, info. Close it. Okay, select it. And don't think this is allowed. Yeah, okay, so let's go to 
get the document, open it again, CPQ lines empty. I'm going to save it. Oh. Copy Opslan. And I'm going to save it under downloads. Okay, so it's now saved under downloads. So what I'm just going to do is get it from the my downloads. Okay, save the server. And of course, I need an alternative name. I'm just going to call it AN from the English version. Okay, that's that. Everything is there. Add the data source. Now we want the data source uh, that we just created. It was called something with uh, Academy. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, looks good. So now I'm going to add a config type. And which config type did I add? So first config type I want to do is say to the system, repeat this table. Repeat this table for every line in uh, my main line items. So for every car that actually is in my is uh, linked to, to this uh, quote. So I'm going to call this table. So this will identify the table to uh, to repeat. Okay. Uh, how many times do I have to repeat it for every record in this data source? Which table uh, to repeat? Okay. Identified by this uh, merge field. Uh, I only want a single spacing, no criteria required. Okay, that's cool. So we have that. Step two is now to add some uh, some one-on-one -on -one replacements. So we have a single, we can use a parent data source. So the parent data source knows that we are repeating uh, every, for every record in our data source. Um, and we want the name of the product here. Merge field is this one. Okay, second is, so we have this one now. Second is the one liner that we have for our car. So again, we are going to add an extra single here. Um, we're going to call the one liner. Merge field is the field that's in our documents. Okay, and the last one, the description. So let's copy this one, the description. Uh, we want to have the description field here and the description, the merge field, so that it knows it's which one to use in our documents. Okay, save the server. Everything is perfectly okay, so that went well. What we now should do is uh, take the ID of our .config, and we're going to just add this one to the configuration of our Lightning components here, so to make sure that we can actually generate the .config we have just uh, uh, created. Okay, uh, let's let's take this lightning component. Just add a comma. Up my new uh, my new ID of the doc config. Okay, and select PDF. So if I look at the C, I perfectly have for every option that's there. So for every car that's there, I have now two times, that's two cars, so two times this block. Of course, this doesn't show any of the sub-products yet. So this is the next step. Let's go and show some sub-products. Okay, 